The Traffic Anti-Crime Family, also known as the Tampa Mafia, is the only original mafia crime family in the state of Florida. History Tampa's underworld Tampa crime started with Charlie Wall who, in the 1920s, controlled a number of gambling rackets and corrupt government officials. Wall controlled Tampa from the neighborhood known as Ibor City, he employed Italians, Cubans and men of other ethnicities into his organization. Charlie Wall's only competition was Tampa's earliest mafia boss Ignacio Antonori. Antonori Gang The first Italian gang in the Tampa Bay area was created by Ignacio Antonori in 1925. Antonori, a Sicilian-born immigrant, became a well-known drug kingpin and the Italian crime boss of Tampa in the late 1920s. A smaller Italian gang in the area was controlled by Santo Traffic Anti Sr., who had lived in Tampa since the age of 18. Traffic Anti had already set up Bolita games throughout the city and was a very powerful man. Antonori took notice of Santo Traffic Anti and invited him into his organization and together they expanded the Bolita games across the state. By the 1930s Ignacio Antonori and Charlie Wall were in a bloody war for 10 years, which would later be known as Era of Blood. Wall's closest associate, Evaristo Tito Rubio, was shot on his porch on March 8, 1938. The war ended in the 1940s with Ignacio Antonori being shot and killed with a sawn-off shotgun. Both Walls and Antonori's organizations were weakened leaving Santo Traffic Anti as one of the last and most powerful bosses in Tampa. Traffic Anti Senior Era Santo Traffic Anti Senior had now taken over a majority of the city and started to teach his son Santo Traffic Anti Junior how to run the city. In Traffic Anti Senior's adult life, he only portrayed himself as a successful Tampa cigar factory owner. Santo was being watched closely by police and made Salvatore Red Italiano the acting boss. With the untimely Cafalver hearings and Charlie Wall testifying in 1950, both traffic antis fled to Cuba. He always wanted to make it big in Cuba casinos and dispatched his son, Santo, Jr., to Havana in 1946 to help operate a mob-owned casino. The Tampa mob made a lot of money in Cuba, but never achieved its ambition of making the island part of its own territory. After the hearings ended the traffic antis returned to Tampa to find out that Italiano had just fled to Mexico leaving Jimmy Lumia the biggest mobster in the city. Santo had Lumia killed after finding out he was bad-mouthing him while he was in Cuba and he took over again. In 1953 Santo Jr. survived a shooting. The family suspected it was Charlie Wall and they had him killed in 1955. Traffic Anti remained the boss of Tampa until he died of natural causes in 1954. Traffic Anti Jr. Era Santo Traffic Anti Jr. succeeded his father as the boss of Tampa and ruled his family with an iron fist. Despite numerous stunted ambitions, he was regarded as one of the most powerful mob bosses of the American Mafia. Santo Jr. was born in the United States on November 15. 1914 and was one of five sons of Mafia boss Santo Traffic Anti. He maintained close working ties with the Lucchese and Bonanno crime families from New York City. Santo Jr. worked closely with Lucchese family boss Tommy Lucchese, who was a friend of his father, and a man who helped train him in the 1940s. Santo Jr. was known to have been deeply involved in the CIA efforts to involve the underworld in assassination attempts on Fidel Castro. Under pressure of a court order granting him immunity from prosecution, but threatening him with contempt if he refused to talk, Traffic Anti admitted to a congressional committee in 1975 that he had in the early 1960s recruited other mobsters to assassinate Castro. It was like World War II, he told the committee. They told me to go to the draft board and sign up. In 1978, Traffic Anti was called to testify before members of the United States House Select Committee on Assassinations investigating possible links between Lee Harvey Oswald and anti-Castro Cubans, including the theory that Castro had President John F. Kennedy killed in retaliation for the CIA's attempts to assassinate Castro. Santo. 
Jr. never spent a day in jail, and he died of natural causes in 1987. Loscalzoera In 1987 Vincent Loscalzo became boss of the Traffic Anti family and Florida became open territory. The five families of New York City could work in any city in the state. Loscalzo's new family was smaller because many of the older mobsters were dead or retired. He has interests in gambling, prostitution, narcotics, union racketeering, hijacking and fencing stolen goods. He controls a few bars, lounges, restaurants, nightclubs and liquor stores all over the state of Florida. Los Calzo has ties to California, New Jersey, and New York as well as being connected to the Sicilian Mafia. On July 1, 1989, Los Calzo was indicted on racketeering charges that included grand theft. The charges were later dropped and then reinstated. Los Calzo plead no contest on October 7, 1997 and received three months of probation. In 1992, Los Calzo was arrested at the Tampa International Airport for carrying a loaded .38 caliber pistol in his briefcase. The weapon showed up on the X-ray scanner. He was convicted for the charge in 1999 and was sentenced to 60 days in jail. South Florida Operation Santo Jr. started the family South Florida crew in the early 1980s, putting Stephen Bruno Rafa in charge. Bruno ran the crew with associates and freelancers after the death of Santo Jr. Rafa maintained a good relationship with Los Calzo, the new boss of the family and Genovese mobster John Mammon. In 2019 members of the crew were arrested and Rafa committed suicide. North Florida operations The Traffic Anti family expanded their reach into North Florida cities like Daytona and Jacksonville during the late 1980s. The North Florida operations were run by the Maglianos and Granados. The activities of this crew included money laundering, racketeering, narcotics distribution, and illegal gambling. In May 2015, 13 people in Jacksonville were indicted by the federal government on money laundering charges. Current status as of November 25, 2007, Vincent Loscalzo is a 70-plus-year-old semi-retired mobster and a regular Joe, according to Scott Deitch, author of Cigar City Mafia. The old family membership has died and the Tampa mob has fallen into the shadows of the NYC mobs. Gambinos in Tampa recently statements have spread across Florida that John A. Jr. Gotti son of the late Gambino crime family boss John Gotti, has been running organized crime in Tampa since his release from prison in 2005. Gotti is allegedly a captain in the Gambino family. On August 5, 2008 Gotti was indicted on charges of racketeering, kidnapping, conspiracy to commit murder and drug trafficking. He and five others were indicted by a Florida grand jury. Historical Leadership Boss, official and acting 1920-1940, Ignacio Antinori, murdered on October 23, 1940, 1940-1954, Santo Traffic Andy, Sr., died in August 1954 of a heart attack. Acting 1946-1948, Salvatore Red Italiano, Ignacio's nephew, fled to Mexico. Acting 1948-1950, James, head of the Elks, Lumia, murdered on June 5, 1950. 1954-1987, Santo Traficante, Jr., died on March 17, 1987. 1987-present, Vincent Loscalzo. Under Boss 1920-1940, Santo Traficante, Sr., promoted to Boss. 1940-1948, Salvatore, Red, Italiano, fled to Mexico. 1948-1950, James, head of the Elks, Lumia, murdered on June 5, 1950. 1950-1954, Santo Traffic MT, Jr., promoted to boss. 1954-1987, Vincent Loscalzo, promoted to boss. 1987-1994, Frank, Daddy Frank, Daisaidu, longtime Tampa member, died 
died October 19, 1994. 1994 present. Frank Albano. Current members administration. Boss. Vincent Loscalzo under boss. Frank Albano Consigliere. Unknown soldiers. Salvatore Sam Carollo became a soldier in the Tampa family during the 1980s, reportedly brought into the family by Vincent Loscalzo. His legitimate activities include that of a property developer in Pasco County, Florida. He once served as the manager for the Quail Hollow Country Club, which is now owned by one of his sons, Andre Carollo. Past members Ignazio Italiano was a friend of Profaci family boss Joseph Profaci. They were from the same town of Villa Bate in Sicily. Ignazio was a produce salesman and the uncle to Tampa mobster Salvatore Red Italiano. He died on August 11, 1930. Past associates Frank Ragano was the attorney and main advisor to Santo Traffic MT Jr. In popular culture Newell, Mike. Donnie Brasco, 1997. A Hollywood film about former FBI agent Joseph Pistoni. The actor Val Avery played the part of Santo Traffic and Junior Poulet, Michel. Bonanno. A Godfather's Story, 1999. A made-for-television film about the rise and fall of the Bonanno crime family. The actor John Burns played the part of Mafia boss Santo Traffic and Junior Guzzo, Pete. Ghost of Ivor, 2008. A made-for-television film about the life of the American gangster Charlie Wall. It shows the traffic and the crime family in the end of the film. References Notes Sources Cyfocas, Carl. Mafia Encyclopedia, 2nd Edition. New York, De Capo Press, 1999. ISBN 978 0816018567 DH, Scott. Cigar City Mafia. A Complete History of the Tampa Underworld. New York. Barricade Books, 2004. ISBN 1 56980 266 1 DH, Scott. The Silent Dawn. The Criminal Underworld of Santo Traffic Anti, Jr. New York. Barricade Books. 2008. D.H. Scott. The Everything Mafia Book, 2nd Edition. New York. Barricade Books, 2007. Pistoni, Joseph. Donnie Brasco. My Undercover Life in the Mafia. Joseph Pistoni, 1987. ISBN 978-0451192578. Davis, John. Mafia Kingfish. Carlos Marcello and the Assassination of John F. Kennedy. New York, Signet, 1989. Capisi, Jerry. The Complete Idiot's Guide to the Mafia, 2nd Edition. New York, Alpha Books, 2005. DeVico, Peter. The Mafia Made Easy. Peter DeVico, 2007. ISBN 9781602472549 Bliss, A.J., Making a Sunbelt Place, Tampa, Florida, 1923-1964, Ph.D. Dissertation, 2010 External Links Rick Porello's American Mafia, Tampa, Florida by Scott Deitch Die Land Mob the Traffic Anti-Family, Tampa, American Gangland, Colon Traffic Anti-Crime Family.